Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I greet you and welcome you to a Saturday night's main event. The program that occurs once per week on a Saturday afternoon. And it is for you, the viewers, to enjoy some of the greatest professional wrestling history and my awesome time machine can provide. Um, in our latest news, Bret Hart has been pushed over the edge and he has turned against the universe. Yes, indeed, I ask the question, why, Brett, why? As you can see, our current rankings, we have WWE Champion Brock Lesnar, WWE European Champion Wade Barrett, Women's Champion Jennifer, ha Jennifer Michaels, and, of course, your Tag Team Champions, the Ministry of Darkness, The Undertaker, and his younger brother, The Demon Kane. So we are going to go into this week's program. As you guys can see, we are four weeks away from... We are four weeks away. Um, I haven't actually... Uh, let me just check my... Let me go to Customize Universe and, cust and edit my calendar a minute. Uh, right, let's have... No, 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 no. Um, I want to go into edit. Um, yeah, we are one show away from the WCW Nitro pay-per-view, um, formerly TLC, but this is going to be taking place on the Nitro Arena, um, as I am working on a contract deal with some of the people from WCW to replace Saturday Night's main event next year after WrestleMania with a Monday Night, with a Monday Nitro. It will be the same concept, but rather than it being on a Saturday Saturday evening, it will be on a Monday night. Now that is, of course, up to you guys whether you would rather this program occurred on a Monday evening or on a Saturday. My schedule won't change as it comes to recording, because I'll just record it in, in big chunks as I do. But obviously, if you guys would rather see it as a Nitro rather than main event, I can do that. If you want it as Raw, if you want it as SmackDown, you tell me what day you want this show to come out, and I will make it happen. Um, so yeah, if you guys want, if you guys want that, you guys need to obviously only let me know. But tonight we got some awesome matches. Um, early tonight we saw Dynamite Kid go one on one with Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze picking up the victory off of the off of the um, one half of the British Bulldogs. We've got Jennifer, our women's champion, going up against Kel, and of course Jennifer picks up the victory. She is our women's champion. And of course, um, therefore, is highly ranked in our division. We've got the Wyatt family, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, going up against the Shield, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Um, the Shield taking the loss, Dean Ambrose falling down at the hands of Eric Rowan. Of course, we have our WWE Champion Brock Lesnar going one-on-one -on -one with Andre the Giant in a submission match and CM Punk and Bret Hart. Well, as you guys know, we only show one to two matches per episode and as such, we're only, we are going to show the Lesnar match today. So CM Punk and Bret Hart, Bret takes the defeat at the, at the hands of Punk. And tonight we are going to see Brock Lesnar and versus Andre the Giant. Um, we have the opportunity to cash in. I'm going to say no. I don't want to see that quite yet. Um, I will have the opportunity to do cash ins, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to not do that. I'm not going to um, do any of the cashing in. Um, I'm not going to cash cash it in at my decision at all. I want the game to do it. I want the game to make the decision when is the right time for the cash-in. If that's tonight's match, that's tonight's match. Who knows? But I want the game to decide. I want the randomness of this video game to decide when is the correct time for the cash-in. And so that's what's going to happen. Anyway, I've got time, time for me to get into character. <coughs> Welcome, everybody, to Saturday Night's main event. I am at I am at your backstage ring announcement spot. I am your commentator, Xander Dark, and I am here to talk to you, talk you through Brock Lesnar versus Andre the Giant, the WWF champion. Brock Lesnar coming to the ring, having won the championship um, about a month ago. He is going up against the largest man this company has ever seen. And the man who is, well, he, he is literally the immovable object. 
He's well over seven feet. He's about 642 pounds. And frankly, if he sat on you, you would be dead. Andre the Giant and Brock Lesnar are going... These two juggernauts, these monsters, are going to hit... Come up against each other one on one, and that is happening tonight. I am incredibly excited about this match, and you must know that I am looking forward to this. Oh my god, I've never seen anybody throw Andre up in the air like that. That was incredible. Lesnar is an absolute beast. Lesnar's absolutely destroying Andre. Nobody does this. Even Hogan took 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 a beating at the hands of the Giant, and here is why: because the Giant hits like a lorry driving over a two-year-old child. But Lesnar going up against Andre here. Andre beating down Brock. But Lesnar keeps coming back. Lesnar knows that he shouldn't stay in the ring. And so he is ducking to the outside. But Andre hits him square in the jaw. Lesnar stripping down the ringside table. I don't know why Lawler and Cole are here. Their microphones are muted. But oh my god, Andre thrown over his head. Andre is 640 pounds. Do you know... Good lord, that table! No, that table exploded! That was... I can't believe I just saw that! Wow! And Brock Lesnar is just dancing away in the ring. Leave the referee alone, you disgusting monster! The referee ducking out the way there of Brock Lesnar's move. Andre the Giant picks him up and throws him down on his legs, punishing him for going after the referee. Our, our kind and polite ringside referee, Richard Head. And again, Lesnar goes in with the strikes to the arm, but Andre headbutts him and back falls Lesnar. Lesnar's got hold of the head, but down he goes. This one is a submission match. This match will not end until one of these men screams out for his mummy. <coughs> Lesnar here kicking an absolute welt into the back of Andre. Andre is so much bigger than anybody we have ever seen here in the, in the company. Brock Lesnar is truly a beast. He is our WWE champion, and I don't know who is going to take the championship away from him. I mean, I know Bro I know Dolph Ziggler, our Mr. Money in the Bank, is is very interested to take the championship. But frankly, if I was Ziggler, I would wait until Lesnar has been shot dead by some sort of hunting-based group. Because honestly, I would not I would not willingly go into the ring with with Brock Lesnar. The fact that he is even hired here is a disgrace. He shouldn't be our champion. He should not be the champion here. Brock Lesnar is too dangerous. He breaks people's arms. He breaks their legs. He hurts people. And he shouldn't be our champion. Because our, ugh, our talented people... This is this. Ugh, I, I can't even think, honestly. Our ch our champion is a man who likes to murder people, and th this is exactly the kind of things that happen with our general manager in control. And I'm telling you, Mr. General Manager, you have got to be very, very careful what you do because seriously, I want to kick your ass. And if I get my and and honestly, if you keep doing this kind of stuff, I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm going to have to call you out. And I don't want to, but I am going to have to if you keep messing around like this. But Lesnar is beating the piss into Andre. This is this this just isn't this just isn't sporting, I tell you. Andre is very large. Andre is very large. He's very very dangerous, but Brock Lesnar is just he's, this is easy to Brock. It shouldn't be. Why is Brock finding this, this brutality, so easy? It's almost sickening, I tell you. Lesnar's grabbed the arm and leg of Andre and he's dragging him into the middle. He knows he can't pin the man. What, 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 what does Lesnar have in mind here? He's got him up! He's got Andre up! F! Five onto the mat. Andre the Giant is bleeding. Andre the Giant is bleeding. 
Lesnar sliding outside the ring and is posing away in this match. He's got the ring bell. Don't do it. Don't do this, Brock. You shouldn't do this, Brock. Oh, thank God for that. The referee, um, um, referee Mr. Head has got the bell away from this match. Andre's got a small cut on his upper forehead. And Lesnar's trying to make it worse by just hitting him. Jesus Christ, what was that move? I don't know what that was. I don't think I know what that was. That was a shooting star press. Oh, he's going for the arms. He's trying to break Andre's arms. He's trying to injure the arms of the giant. Oh, twice on that floor. He goes for the arm twice on that floor there. Andre bashes his head against Brock, but Brock somehow gets a reversal, rakes the eyes of the giant, and drives him down on his neck. This is getting this is getting uncomfortable, I I must say. This fight and this brawl and this brutality is just getting uncomfortable. I can't keep watching this brutality any longer. I have a soul, god damn it. You can't make me whoa I have a soul, god damn it. I can't keep seeing this brutality. Oh the face slammed down into the knee. He's going for a submission on Lesnar. He's going for a submission on Lesnar, but Lesnar is just pulling himself free. That submission wasn't even tight enough to tight enough tight enough to make Lesnar bother. But Andre is is an absolute monster when it comes to reversing moves. Lesnar is so much smaller than the giant. The giant's got him. Big knee to the face. Drives him into the corner. Big reversal, big elbow to the head. Andre's very, very dizzy now. Lesnar turns him, grabs that arm, and drives it down into the floor. Oh, this match is getting just... This, just, just, just I just don't like this. This just isn't comfortable anymore. This just isn't comfortable anymore. I can't keep... Oh, oh I felt that. Oh, that arm. He is just concentrating down his forces upon that arm. Andre's got him again. Andre's got him again. But Lesnar's just um, wriggling free of that move. And he's broken free of the giant submission hold once again. Lesnar tries to run away. The giant is driving down those forces against his back and head again. Lesnar thrown into the ring. Lesnar with a reversal. Big powerful punch to the head of Andre the Giant there. Snaps the arm on his shoulder. Lesnar does a little bit of that dancing that he's known for. And he roars out in anger. <coughs> oh. Big punch to the face of the giant there. Big clothesline. That meat hook. That practical meat hook there. He's grabbed the arm and he's, tr oh, he's slamming his fist on the elbow. Oh, he's treading on that elbow there. This is not, this is not nice. This isn't nice wrestling. This isn't nice, friendly 1980s wrestling. No, 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 no. Lesnar with a reversal there. Big clothesline to the face once again. The giant falls down. Blood is starting to get into his eyes. Oh, Lesnar's got the arm. Lesnar's got the arm. He's tearing at the arm. Lesnar with that magnificent clothesline. 
But it's not enough. Oh, down he goes. He's got him up. Oh, he just throws him over his back. He's got the arm. He's got the arm. He's tearing the arm. He's sque He's yanking in that arm. He's trying to snap the arm. He's trying to snap the arm. Lesnar's trying to snap the arm. He's trying to snap the arm. But Andre somehow, somehow found what he needed to get out of that move. Lesnar, Andre found what he needed to get out of that move. Not many get out of that move, but somehow Lesnar had, Andre had what it takes to get out of the Kimura lock. Oh, the headbutt. Big meat hook again. Andre wins the test of strength. No shit there, Sherlock. Andre steps on the chest. That's 640 pounds of giant wrestler coming down on your chest. This goes to show that Lesnar is not just any normal man. He twists the arm and drives Lesnar down to the mat. Lesnar flips him over his head and drives him to the floor. Lesnar's got the arm and he snaps the arm again. He's got the arm again. He's down on the floor. He's tied in. The Kimura. Kimura arm lock. Kimura arm lock. There's no way. Andre's not going to get out of it again. But Andre's squeezing. He's pulling his arm. His arm's coming free. Oh no. Andre got his arm free. But Lesnar has done serious, serious damage to that arm. We're gonna we we are gonna need medics after this match because Lesnar is absolutely assured he's gonna snap Andre the Giant's arm. He's driving the elbows. He's squeezing on the neck, but the rope break stops this match. Lesnar with a reversal. But Andre reverses that. Andre so, still so much stronger, even with one arm. Lesnar still able to pull himself free of that camel clutch with relative ease. This shows the kind of, this shows the character of Lesnar, the the strength and the just the pure guttural power that Brock Lesnar has when he wants to use it for good. Big belly to belly suplex throwing the 640 pound man over his head. Irish whip over the top rope. Big spear. Lesnar's going to the top for that, dis that move. Shooting star press and he lands it on the outside. The giant stamping on the face of Lesnar once again. Pushes him to the floor. This submission match is going well out of hand. Big belly to back suplex. German suplex. Oh, stamping on that arm again. Lesnar belly to back suplex on the floor. Oh, that fall away slam on the on the giant. Andre the Giant is out cold. But Lesnar rolls him over, grabs the arm and starts kicking, kicking at his elbow. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how many of you have banged your elbow and, how, and know how much that hurts. But when a man the size of Brock Lesnar stamps on it forcefully up to five times. Yeah. Now you know what kind of pain we're, we're talking about here for, for a man the size of Andre. And a man the size of Andre as well with brittle bone disease as well. I can't believe we're, this match is allowed to happen. Lesnar's rolled in the ring. Lesnar's rolled in the ring. Takes a big headbutt from the giant though.
Big punch to the face and Andre falls down to his back. He's bleeding, there's blood in his eyes and his arm is very, very badly hurt. Lesnar throws him up in the air and over his head. Lesnar's climbing back to the outside. Andre's got him up. Throws him up in the air and slams him on his back on the on the wreckage of that table. Andre's driving those punches into the back of Lesnar's neck. Lesnar is getting more and more injured, but he's still just pulling free of those submission holds with relative ease. He's got him up. Oh, that tiger bomb. That horrible tiger bomb there on the outside of the ring. Lesnar's just pulling free of that Cobra clutch even after taking a tiger bomb on a concrete floor. Lesnar kicks him in the gut. Slips behind him. German suplex onto the floor. Lesnar's roaring as he stands over his fallen, the fallen giant. He does a bit of that famous Brock Lesnar dancing. Big punch to the chest of the giant. Big kick to Lesnar's gut. He's got Andre down and he's choking him from behind his neck. Andre's still pulling free of that submission but Lesnar is tearing at the man's face. He's tearing at his face and neck. Like a man who hasn't eaten in years, he's tearing at the upper body of the giant. And now, and now, and now Andre the Giant is returning the favour to Lesnar. He's returning the favour and Lesnar doesn't seem capable of pulling out of this. Except for the fact that somehow he finds a way. That big clothesline was like a meat hook. Andre is bleeding and his chest is a mess. Lesnar picks him up and slams him hard on his neck. He's gone for the Irish whip into the ring. Andre's in the ring now. Lesnar picks him up. Picks him over his head. That's 640 pounds. And that's why Lesnar was unable to do it. Andre drags him to the centre of the ring. Big reversal though. And he's got the arm. Lesnar's pulled him to the floor and he's got the arm. He's tearing at Andre's arm. Ripping at the cartilage in the elbow. He's tearing at the arm. That arm's going to snap. I tell you, that arm is going to snap. There's no way he can keep doing this. But no, Andre somehow survives. And Lesnar gets it again. He's got the arm. There's no way. Damn it. No, that arm snapped. No, that arm just snapped. I swear that, that arm. No. No, he didn't. Uh, I think he did. I think that arm just snapped. I can't, I can't be sure because I'm watching this on a monitor, but I'm going to have to watch the replay. Oh, the big German suplex that got Andre down earlier in the match. That reversal there from Andre was um, well, it was exceptional. And here we go, the, the end of that match. He grabs in that arm and he pulls down on that Kimura. I've got to watch this closely because I think that arm snapped. Yeah, there, right there. That arm snapped. That arm snapped right at that moment. He just broke Andre the Giant's arm. He just broke Andre the Giant's arm. Sergeant Slaughter's come here to call out Brock Lesnar but he just broke Andre the Giant's arm he just broke Andre's arm ladies and gentlemen I've got to leave you because this is the end of Saturday night's main event I don't think Andre the Giant's going to be competing on our roster for a while because I just think Andre the Giant's arm snapped ladies and gentlemen do not try this at home and stay away from Brock Lesnar I bid you farewell ladies and gentlemen
from Saturday night's main event. Somebody get Andre some help. Seriously. He's broken his arm, damn it. 